The safety of machine operators and people working on sites is of great importance to Dramone. The recently adopted ISO 13031 standard for hydraulic quick couplers specifies safety requirements for quick couplers used on earth-moving machinery. In order to offer a product that complies with this standard and to give the operator and those around the most in safety, Dramone has launched the Multilock, which is considered best in class. The Dramone patented technology uses mechanical locks to ensure that all attachments are secure in place and independent of the hydraulics. Even in the event of a complete hydraulic failure, the attachment remains in a safe position on the Dramone Multilock. Position the coupler in the position as illustrated. This is generally curled inwards with the bucket cylinder fully extended. The multi-lock is controlled from inside the cab by the operator using a Dramone or OEM supplied electronic control panel. The system is activated by pressing the power button on the control unit. The LED will illuminate in green and activate a continuous audible buzzer in the excavator cab. Within five seconds of pressing the power button, press the control button. The LED will pulsate red, while the continuous audible buzzer will change to pulsating. The coupler is now unlocked. The coupler rear latch hook and front lock arm will open, allowing attachment pickup to commence. Once open, maneuver the coupler in position over the attachment to line up with the attachment hanger brackets. Pull back the machine dipper arm, allowing the front of the coupler to lock onto the attachment pin. Then, lower the link end of the coupler to line up the rear pin with the rear hook. As the coupler is presented to the attachment and the front lock engages with the front pin, this instigates automatic locking on the front attachment pin. Position the coupler in the position as illustrated. Reviewing this in a section view will demonstrate the internal workings of the coupler. Power off the multi-lock control panel in the cab of the machine. This will then cause the rear hook to extend and fully latch the rear attachment pin. With the machine in the transport position, visually confirm that locking of the attachment has occurred. To remove the attachment, first place the coupler in the transport position as illustrated. Once in this position, proceed to power on the in-cab control panel, followed by pressing the confirm button. The rear hook at this point will start to retract. Unlocking the rear pin, and subsequently the front pin. Lower the bucket close to the ground and rotating the coupler, the rear attachment pin will become disengaged, followed by the front attachment pin.
The snap-on front lock feature of the multi-lock allows for safer positioning of the attachment on the job site and within proximity to the machine. Simply snap the front lock onto the attachment front pin. Once engaged, the attachment is locked on. Follow the attachment removal procedure to unlock from the attachment. More information regarding this feature can be found in the owner's manual.